I think it's like a rosé and this would be like a red wine. That's my guess. Which one do you want? I want the red. There's a local winery and they're closed today. We wanted to go and this is what we've heard is really good. So we're giving it a try. It's from Prairie Berry Winery in Hill City. You gotta love these little markets. It's my favorite thing to do is go into these little small towns and stores. This one is Kroll's Market. They have everything. It's pretty small, but why are you whispering? Price. So, <laughs> no one can hear me. I don't disturb anybody else's shopping experience. Well, it's our last full day in Keystone. And well, we're actually in Hill City, but 10 miles away from Keystone. So it's our last full day and we're gonna go head over to Crazy Horse the memorial over there and check that out, see what that is. It's $24 for a vehicle with two people in it. And I think it jumps to $30 for three or more. So we're gonna pop in there, take a look and learn all about that. We just popped into the local grocery store, Kroll's, which is so cool in there. Just love that little it's store. The only, it's the only market in the area. Isn't that the truth? It's There's just, no market in Keystone. There's, yeah, if you, I mean, there's a Dollar there's General. A there's a convenience store. <laughs> but it's, you know, this place has everything. So we did get, uh, we did get some chips, some salsa, a bottle of wine, and we're going to have some friends come over today. Yes, we have friends in South Dakota. We have Christina and David from our RV Life Change, who we met at the RV show last February no January rather 2023 and we'd been following their channel but we we got together a couple times and just just really hit it off so we're gonna meet up today they're gonna come over for a campfire and some snacks and just some some downtime they are here work camping in Keystone at the Phillips 66 station and they're gonna be here for the summer so what a neat opportunity to work and live here for a summer. Let us know in the comments, have you ever heard of work camping? And we'll put a link in the description if you are interested in finding out more about that. We actually have some, have some friends, oldies on the road who are work camping down in San Clemente for the summer and they need people. So we were actually considering it for just a moment, but we just have so many obligations and we have to be back in Indiana for the Grand Design National Rally by end of August. So we just, it wasn't something we could do, but highly tempting. Man, being at the beach for a summer, maybe next year, maybe that'll be something to do next year. Cause that would be fun. And our kids are down there. So that would be, that would be the best of both worlds. Well, let's go see what Crazy Horse is all about. And um, then. It's actually called Crazy Horse Memorial. Crazy Horse Memorial. All right, let's go. Hello. Hi. How are you? you? Yes. So it's twenty-four dollars. Okay. And do they still? Are they doing the bus today? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It is four dollars. You can get that up there. We're just sticking to the base of the mountain. Uh, we're gonna go around to this right hand side and make a U-turn. On the way back, we'll park so we're looking directly up at his face. And then at that point, you guys will be able to jump out. Uh, we'll hang out for like 10, 15 minutes, take some pictures, check it out, and then load up and come back. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. That means we run off of the ticket sales you guys pay for coming through that front gate, and then private donations from you guys that visit us. And that is it. 
There's no federal or state funding that comes into this place. The only way the government wants to contribute any money is if they own it. So they've offered $10 million offers twice to buy this place, you know, and they've been turned down each time and they want no part of it other than that. The most commonly asked question is when is the whole thing going to be done? And the best answer I can give you is it will be done on a Tuesday and I have no idea what Tuesday. <laughs> um, we should see total completion of his left hand that's pointing out, which is pretty much done. They plan on having his whole hand 100% finished and ready to unveil on June 3rd of this year. It'll be the 75th year anniversary of them starting the project, all right? So four years from now, they'll start doing the horse's mane on the front side of the mountain. And then the next five-year plan is to do the horse's head on the front side, and, and the hoof and leg, and the body, you know what I mean? And they'll just keep working it in these sections like that. Well, we're at a KOA, as you know, and you guys know the colors of KOA, right? The gold and the brown, like tan pants. But you know, what they do is they just come around and they start sitting on your own patio furniture, your own camping chairs and stuff. Hey, excuse me, sir, do you work here? I'm the manager. <laughs> you got the KOA colors on, you're gonna get mistaken. I'm working hard, lady. <laughs> They're going to make you work hard if you keep wearing their colors. Isn't this great? Are you enjoying it? Oh, the weather is wonderful. Look at that rip roaring fire he's got going for us. We're we're working on it. We've got we've got friends coming. We got Christina and David going to be here pretty soon and it is gorgeous right now. 64 degrees no rain it actually rained a little bit earlier today this is phenomenal for our last night here this couldn't be better get back to work okay your break is over okay we're in 346 so this is 345 so we're just seeing if a car or a vehicle rv was here i think they're a little a little snug but not bad i mean especially because we have all this space behind us And we have enjoyed this very much, that view. The site's plenty long. Of course, we're over into the grass by about four feet. They're okay with having mats. Can you imagine when, when the summertime hits, this place gets packed? Just how busy. I, I just can't even fathom. So here's our 346 site from the front. Pretty good space between 346 and 347. Really nice spot there. Actually, 347 is pretty nice. All these just back up to this grass. It's so nice, so quiet back here. That's their maintenance yard over there. There's camping area back over there, and then there's swing sets. We have our own bathroom. These are all camping sites here, just t tent camping. And it's here on this frontage road. I'm not sure where they would park though. Maybe they're okay with them parking on the grass. That's too bright. <laughs> oh, where's that little, that little thing? No, oh, it's in the thing. All right, I'm trying this. I'm not sure if I'm blinding anybody, but. <laughs> you're blinding me. Is what I'm you're sorry, doing. I'll go this way. We're actually, it's about a oh, little after 9.30 and we're heading to Mount Rushmore with David and Christina from our RV Life Change. They've been over 
for the last few hours we've just been chatting by the campfire having a great time they're the ones that told us that the lights turn on and then after 10 o'clock you know the gates go up and you can go in and there's no charge so we're gonna head over there and get some footage and just see it one more time that's so it's just so awe-inspiring you have to see it at least once this will actually be the third time we've seen it. I mean, we passed by the second time we've been in the park. So come with us. We are the only ones here. Is this incredible? A couple people left when we were walking in. Yeah. Such a patriotic feeling when you see this place. Makes you proud to be an American. Christina and David and they have told hey! us about this am amazing <laughs> secret. Don't tell anybody though. Don't tell anybody. I'm here too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah and Stan. <laughs> oh and just the boys up there the on the rock. Uh, hi guys. <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a great night. We hung out by the fire. We were chatting and just yeah, discussing. Yeah. They have the 17 MKE. Yep. yep. Grand design. Mm -hmm. Part of the Grand Design family. So <laughs> we had too much fun. Well, it's travel day. We're headed to Spearfish, South Dakota. Whoop, whoop. For mountain biking. For what is it? Devil's Tower, Deadwood, and Sturges. Sturges. Yes. Lots of things to see. So I like how we're doing it. We're kind of doing it in segments, kind of creeping our way up north. And before we hit the road road, we're going to stop at the Prairie Berry Winery. We did pick up that red beep. What was it? Rhubarb wine. So good. Just tastes like juice, which is could be a bad thing. <laughs> but we tried it last night. It was so good. So I think I'm stopping in here maybe for some souvenirs to take home to some family and Rhonda, friends. Rhonda found a new drink. <laughs> so good. Well, you found the Lion's Paw beer and we like the Tangerine Treat. So these are all South Dakota beers, breweries and things. So fun, fun stuff. You got to try the local alcoholic beverages. I feel we've always like when we went to Glacier that we had, we found like a favorite up there. All right, oh, let's go stop in here and uh, pick up some wine. <laughs> feeling like we missed out by not coming here and doing wine tasting. This is gorgeous. And then there's the Firehouse Brewery. We missed that too. <sighs> Need more time. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand. Man, you're looking good tonight. Well, thank you. Yeah, you too. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad as it looks, so. Well, only it's got six bottles. Bad. <laughs> it's bad for Rhonda. Or maybe good for Stan. I don't know. What the? 